Hey everyone, today I'm coming at you from Long Island, New York, and we're checking out the Weber Genesis 2. If you're in the market for a gas grill this summer, you want to spruce up your patio, you want to spruce up your deck with a great reliable grill, this thing should definitely be on your short list. Stick around and find out why. Back in 2006, I bought a Weber Genesis Silver that looked exactly like this one here. And let's face it, back then, Weber didn't make the best looking gas grills. Cut to 2021, and Weber is absolutely killing it. This particular grill belongs to a friend of mine who bought it back in 2019, and Weber hasn't changed the design since then, and they shouldn't anytime soon, because at this price point, this grill is nearly perfect. Checking out the specs of the three burner Genesis, we have 39,000 BTUs from the main burners. The sear station adds another 9,000 BTUs, and we're looking at a cooking area of 660 square inches. Now let's take a look under the hood, and we find the seven millimeter stainless steel rod cooking grates. These are definitely worth the upgrade over the porcelain enameled grates. Underneath the grates, we have these flavor bars, and by the looks of these, they've picked up a lot of flavor. And of course, in the back of the grill, we have a warming rack, which is very typical of most gas grills. On the left, we have the ignition. We've got the three knobs for the burners, and the small knob is an extra burner for searing steaks. And of course, on the right side, we've got our side burner for barbecue sauces, baked beans, whatever you wanna cook on the side. Underneath the grill, of course, is a drip pan and a nice little storage area. Locking caster wheels in the front and large back wheels to make it easy to move around your deck. And three hooks on the side to hold your tools. With all the burners on, this grill easily hits 600 degrees. And I'm actually a little bit nervous to take this grill any hotter because it hasn't been cleaned in a while and I don't want to start a grease fire. So this grill is a special edition. It's in that special red color. It's got the upgraded grades. And what's really cool is this light here turns on when you open the lid. Illuminates all your food on the grill. Really cool. Perfect for nighttime grilling. I'm gonna close the lid back down. The light goes off automatically. How cool is that? As far as capacity, Weber says that this three burner Genesis 2 can fit as many as 20 burgers. And you can see right here, I have 30 wings on the grill. And I feel like I could definitely fit another 30, 40, maybe even 50 more wings. And let me tell you something, these wings came out great. So this three burner gas grill is big enough for a good size party. But if you got the four burner grill, forget about it, you could feed an army. All right, so let's check out the Weber website, weber.com, and check out some of the prices on these grills. Now, the entry level grill, well, I guess the Q is really the entry level, but those I feel like are more portable grills. And we've got the Spirit, which is sort of entry level. And next to that, we've got the Summit. And the Summit's like, you know, really high end, very expensive. And I think the Genesis 2 is kind of right in that sweet spot where it's not lower end like the Spirit and it's not super huge money like the Summit. So these first ones, these are smart grills coming in around $12.39 to $13.49 for stainless steel. I'm not, I don't need a smart grill. And, and this one here, this is huge. This is the four burner. That's really the Mac Daddy one. Um, I think it's too big for me, but that's that's me. You might need the four burner. This one here is the natural gas attachment. So if your house has natural gas, you can you can tether to that. But the thing is, you're kind of stuck with the grill in that one spot, so you can't really move it around. And I also think it affects the resale value. So for me, I like I think you should go propane. Because if you're gonna sell it someday, the person might not have a natural gas attachment at their house. So you can see some of these have doors and some of them don't have doors on the bottom. I kind of like the look of the one without the doors, but for me, this one here, 
I like the stainless steel and I don't think they make the stainless steel without the doors and this has the sear station and yeah I really like the look of this one for me this is the grill I would get if I was getting a Weber Genesis 2 it's got the sear station here it's got the side burner over here yeah I just love the look of this and the stainless steel you know stainless steel is not gonna rust so that is a huge plus let's go back here check out a few more of these Genesis 2's oh, here's the blue one so this blue one is very similar to the one that my friend has but in red except this one has the doors on the bottom so I guess it's different in that respect and let's check out the grates yeah this has the porcelain grates it doesn't have this upgraded stainless steel grates and I think the stainless steel grates are really worth the upgrade so I would definitely if I was gonna get a Genesis 2 I would definitely go for those stainless steel rod grates let's go back to the Genesis 2 landing page here check out the colors black copper ocean blue and stainless steel you see there's no red here's the copper that looks pretty nice I kind of like the red one though that the special edition red one if you can find that one it's pretty nice yeah so prices go from you know twelve ninety nine for the big dog ten seventy nine for the one that I really like and then seven seventy nine for the uh, the base model on the left there so those are my thoughts on the Weber Genesis 2 I think this is a home run from Weber this is a great gas grill and should definitely definitely like I said earlier be on your short list maybe even right at the top of your short list if you're looking for a gas grill if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already leave a comment down below I'd love to hear your thoughts on what your favorite gas grill is and of course keep on grilling